guys, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be checking out this old welder. It's a Thunderbolt. It's a Miller welder. It's old. And we're going to stretch these cables out and see what's up with the cables. This thing, this is how you would turn your power up by turn by cranking that. Okay, so Let's get started and see if this thing's going to work or not. Okay guys, so like I said, this is a Miller Thunderbolt. Uh, I don't have my glasses on. There's some numbers on it. This thing has been taken apart and repainted the bottoms kind of rusty on it <laughs> so I don't know why I had you zoomed in but <clears throat> there's a gauge thing like I said this is a little crank up you want a more power you had to crank this thing up or down if you wanted less power okay so I had a well it's been several years ago my early 20s I had a Lincoln welder it was bigger than that but uh, it had to crank on the front and it's kind of rounded on the top it's on wheels I don't know if that's if that works or not that was her dad's but I see he's put a new cord on it. And like I said, he took it apart and apparently painted it. I mean, I suppose he took it apart, but I, I can't see somebody doing all that. You know. I mean, I, he had to at least have the back off of it to put the cord on. Can't see somebody doing all that if it didn't work. Unless he did it. And then it didn't work. And that's why he had to buy the blue one. I've got some welding rods over here. He's got a bunch more. I just... I uh, grabbed a few. Uh, as you can see, I don't know how well they're going to weld. They've been sitting in the garage forever. We've got some 6013, 6010s, 6011s. Uh, I like, just for the stuff I, I use, I like the 6013s. Um, seem to be a nice rod. Just for welding like go-kart frames or small trailers like, you know, the one we're working on. So I thought I'd give it a shot, but first thing... I'm going to do is stretch these cables out and see what we're dealing with. I see a lot of electrical tape, um, so they may be extension cords. Now, the problem I'm going to have with that right now is I've got the only 220 I've got in the garage is clear back in the back at the dryer. It does have the same the same pigtails, what we call them, pigtails on it, uh, but. I do have, which would be a video, I would put put it right in our, our, our box. My garage is a mess, guys. There's our box. And I could put the 220 right there for this welder. And then I can bring the welder over here or something. Uh, once I get wire for the, for the blue one, for the wire feed... Um, I probably wouldn't use this one as much depending on how well it does weld okay so let me get this let me get this stretched out here in the in the driveway and let's see what we're looking at um, make sure nothing's going to zap me too bad looks like he's got extensions on it so I don't know if it'll if they'll run clear through the I wanted to work on the trailer today so, I mean, I don't know if it'll run clear through the garage, if they're long enough to do that or not. We'll have to see. But let me get these stretched out first. Okay, guys, this is what we ended up with. Alright. We've got... <laughs> we got all this. All this. Onto our lead there. Then we've got the ground clamp. Uh, 
I think those cables there look pretty good. This cable is kind of shaky, but it is really thick. So, I definitely have enough to run it through the garage. I don't know if that's got enough. I mean, I may have to crank it way up, but uh, I don't know if this has got enough to run all that or not. So, I'm going to get it back there. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to plug it in and turn it on and see what happens first. Then we'll hook it up and try to run a test weld and see. Uh, I don't like using that much lead, but uh, you know I wouldn't have to once I get, get the plug in over there on that wall. So uh, let me get this in the garage. It's very heavy. I think it's probably 80 pound minimum. So let me get it back there. And... Um, Let's see if it'll kick on. Hi right, guys, I got this plugged in. That's where the dryer goes. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's running. Alright, I'm gonna drag some leads in here. We're gonna plug it in. We'll see. Let's try to run a test, a test bead on something. I'll go get some steel out here and we'll see what happens. Hang tight. Okay. So I gave it a tap and, and it's it's got some spark to it, so let's see if we can weld something. Alright, let me go turn it up a little bit. Okay, well we know it works. Now I just got to play around with the setting. <clears throat> so I don't want to be burning through like that with the heat. Uh, well, you don't really turn the heat up. You just turn the power up on it. So I'm going to mess around with this and then I'll bring you back on. I'm going to clean this up. See if we can't get a nice weld. And if we can, then we'll start on the trailer. Still too hot. pretty ugly but it'll work for what we're going to be using it for
Well, the rods ain't that great either, but, you know. <laughs> Got it too hot. Uh, I'll just play around with it. Yeah, see, it's still, still burning too hot for something like this. Um, but as you can see, it does work. Let's see if we can maybe fill that little... Yeah, see, it's still way too hot. That's okay. I'll get it. I'll get it adjusted when we go to working on the trailer. Hey guys, so it does work. Uh, I I know I can shorten this uh, the power uh, lead. I can shorten that up and still have enough to come through the garage and do what I need to do. Um, ground I'm not worried about because it's, it's it's a lot thicker but you know for building this little old trailer I think it's going to be fine so you know that's what it is uh, just no old, old uh, Miller welder so uh, it works I mean if I can get it to get the temperature right I think I think that'll be a damn fine piece of equipment for as old as it is just to just weld some stuff together around here I think it'd be all right so all right guys thanks for watching stay tuned for uh, working on the trailer some more getting some welding done on it and uh, this weekend we're gonna be doing a live stream so keep an eye out for that video or details on it so we'll let you know what day and everything so all right, guys, with that being said, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to drag some stuff over here for the trailer, and we're going to get some of that welded up. So, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great week. Getting there. Ain't the best yet, but it's getting there.